KX News, putting North Dakota first. If the president orders that nuclear weapons are needed, it's vital that all is ready when duty calls. That's why the Air Force runs simulations to make sure everything is working properly. Caressa Stinchcomb shares more about all of the hard work that goes into perfecting the nuclear mission from Minot Air Force Base. I like to tell people that every day uh, a nuclear weapon is used as a deterrent uh, to prevent our enemies from inflicting harm on us. The 91st Missile Wing is just one of the many organizations who are a part of the simulated electronic launch missile. Attention all stations. We are holding at item Echo 603 for vital verifications from maintenance teams to proceed. The simulation consists of every step that leads up to an actual launch of a Minuteman 3 missile. One of those systems that we have is the Intercontinental Ballistic Missile System. And so we have that here in Minot and uh, we maintain our all sites to ensure that that capability exists uh, just in case the Chairman Joint Chiefs of Staff, the President of the United States gives the order uh, to ensure we have that strategic deterrent. As you may expect, there's a lot of planning and preparing that goes into something like this. Months and months of planning for a 10 second celebration and then it's, hey, let's get back to work. It was awesome. To me, the coolest part isn't the door, but it's seeing all of this, all these people come out here to make it all happen. For many people, this was their first time seeing something like this. Being able to be invited out here as a civilian, a bunch of civilians coming out here, uh, it is really assuring that we have some very young, but very well trained and reliable individuals with the U.S. military and great leadership, not only here at Minot, but around the country. The last time this site was tested was in 2019. As always, the goal is to protect national security. It kind of shows them that we're doing our job correctly every day and that uh, if, need, if need be, these missiles will work. And it just shows the help them that we're here for their protection as well as our allies all around the world. They test the sites every two years. Reporting for KX News, I'm Caressa Stinchcomb. More missile sites across the country are also being tested this week. Coming up next.